For now, we'll play for one hour a day. <sighs> You'll need more gaming experience before you can play more than an hour at a time. Anyway, when you start talking uh, to your friends about how many uh, frames each fighting game move takes and constantly consistently playing an RPG for that fixed time every single day, then you can move up to limitless play. <sighs> I fucking hate nerds, okay? Frame data nerds, Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Indeed. Actually, if you like games that much, why don't, didn't you have any at your place? Uh. Ah, that's right, she was saving her money. Does she really need that? Need to be that frugal, though? No, but... Life's fucked. Let's try watching some TV. Oh. What would you like? Wakaranai. Yeah, there was no TV at her place either. Now let's surf some channels. I hit the button every few seconds. Hmm. Nothing that good. I switched to cable. Hmm. Huh? Hmm? Uh. Hmm. I switched back. Uh. I changed it again. <laughs> you like this one? A documentary about animals on the South Pole. Seals are crawling around on the ice. Yeah, this is nice and relaxing. Shizuru gives the screener undivided attention. She seems to like it. Let's watch this. Shizuru gradually starts leaning toward it. She must really like these animals. Literal fucking child. Holy fuck. These penguins are nice. They look like they're flying when they're underwater. <laughs> now just top, toss them off a building. We're impressed by the footage from a camera stopped to, strapped to a penguin's back. Ah! When it comes out of the water, a seal immediately grabs the penguins in its jaws. Dead. So seals are carnivores. Where's the fucking blood-stained ice? The next moment, the seal is eaten by an orca. So she reaches out for the screen, horrified at the injustice. That's how the food chain works. And then things feed off the orca shit. But if you say if you say so. Where's the fucking sea lion? Jazira makes dinner for me. As expected, most of it uh, is celery based. Pasta for the main dish, it was celery salad and soup on the side. The celery soup smelled a little odd, but it was surprisingly good. That was nice. I returned to my room. I thought about doing some laundry, but Shizuru's doing that for me. Is this what it's like living with a girlfriend? Ew. Literally acting like a child. Please stop. I started smirking again. No. I'm getting way too comfortable with this. I remember the situation. Not good. I'm letting myself enjoy this. Shizuru and I, and I aren't even going out yet. She's just here to help me out for a while. Help me out? Does that mean she's my private maid? No. Gross. Well, that would look great on her. Though it doesn't match her character. Yeah, that's more like Shizuru. But since it's a delusion, might as well have her smile. Yeah, absolutely. I don't even care about how much DHA is going to be in all of that. Sure. Okay. Damn it. Why do we have no maid clothes in this house? I just send into joy suffering. I can be surpri uh, surprisingly easy to please sometimes. Same, brother. But not for this. I need to stop this. I should go back downstairs. If Shizuru hasn't finished yet, maybe I could help her with the, cl the chores. Should I stand up now? The door flies open. Whoa. <laughs> Gil flies in. Shizuru follows. What the hell? They both fly around the room in all directions. Okay. Huh? Ah, oh, crap. Forgot to tell Shizuru about them. I thought they were told not to fuck around. 
仕方ねえ俺の最終奥義を見せてやろう I still don't get the point of him. Yo flies around at high speed. So fast, though he's not making after images. I reach out into his flight path. <laughs> He collides with my palm and falls to the ground. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Ah? Uh, crap, those knives mean. Oh no, don't kill Gil. Oh, the horror. Shizuru, <laughs> stop. Don't. Oh no, calm down and listen. <laughs> oh no, she's fine, so calm down already. It won't hurt at all. Everything collides in this single moment. Calm down. I'm gonna have to explain everything from the top. And why do you think I fucking asked about all this shit? First, I tell Shizuru how I met Gil and Pane. Then I tell them about Shizuru. Yeah, so far, they haven't harmed anyone. Now I know for all I know, when I'm asleep, they could be, like, killing the neighbors. So please stop fighting, all of you. She doesn't seem to completely believe it. For now, if these guys really were bad, they probably would have killed me ages ago. Eh, probably. Is my word good enough for you not to kill them? She thinks for a while. She sort of reaches out and grabs Gil. Squeeze. She presses on his stomach with her thumb, squeezing. Breaks his back. Yes, that's probably wrong. Because he looked like one? What else would he be? I have. <laughs> Absolute dumpster. By familiars, you mean monsters like those dogs and the dragon we saw the other day, right? You and Penny are definitely different from those guys. Though I have seen other human-shaped ones. I think that's what it was. The ribbon girl I saw in the forest. No. <laughs> no. I felt utter terror when I saw her. I tell Shizuru about her. Ah, oh, no, that's just a key. She starts thinking again. Including these two. Better than dying. でも他の仲間に見つかった場合は保証できない。その時は私の立場上助けることはできない。な、なんだよ。結局やばいやつじゃねえか。でも、観光用によっては逆に安全ですわ。ガーディアンの関心がいる足元で隠れていれば。そこに新たに調査が入ることはないでしょうし、ガイアが来ることもないってことですわ。東大元暮らしですわね。東大元暮らす。Jerry did. What? Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, it's really gross to look at. Anything strange? I think back. I've experienced a lot of fantastic events over the past few months. Yeah, quite a few things. If anything, it's bizarre how many. Really? I tell Shizuru about my we other weird experiences. What happened in the forest? The ghost that haunted me during October. The strange infinite hallway at school. The time I saw a giant creature's dead body in the forest. Also when I ate Minra at Gin's place. I think I saw a dog-like one. Saw a girl shadow next to it. Uh, it might have been the ribbon girl. Shizuru listened to my stories with an odd expression. I think that's about it. At this hour? Okay, bye. Got it. What? Even I can tell when I need to sit and wait. I'll be fine. You can go now. She looks worried. Leave! Come on, get going. Literally push her out. Shizuru opens the a window. She waves goodbye, then jumps out the window. I guess that's one way to get out. Close window, go to sleep. Why not? She's nice. Hmm? I didn't get that feeling from her at all. That's because you're a fucking idiot. Oh well. I stand up and grab a backpack and put it on my shoulder. Guess I should bring a flashlight. Why? That was a lie. This is so dumb. If I told her I wanted to go somewhere, she would probably would have stopped me. I haven't done much about this yet, but it's something I need to do. I need to look for Katori. We're childhood friends, and we're, we've been going to school together for ages. She should just uh, be a, an ordinary person mixed up in this by accident like me. You're not an ordinary person, but she won't have anyone protecting her like I do. And she doesn't have any special power. I wish. I can't just leave her. If Guardian won't do anything, I'll have to look for her myself. No. I have a few ideas. It'd be nice if I could find her right away and make sure she's safe. This is a pretty si serious situation. I head out. Now then. First, I head to the part of the forest where Kator and I used to play together. She might have tried to hide there if if someone came after her. They grab onto my shoulders. You're coming? Shizuru is fine, trust me. Good point. Don't get caught! Hmm. Gonna think of it, it's not easy to find people in the forest, so the fact that they can fly might help. Okay, let's go. Stay in my bag until we reach the forest. I shove him in. He sticks his head out and makes a ruckus. Five down. There aren't many people around, so it's probably fine, but... I still want to know why the dude thought it was really important to add these people. Okay, I'm going to be straight up. Why? There's a line of cop cars on the side of the road. Is this a checkpoint? I see red strobe lights and black and white patrol cars. I don't get why this is here. It'd be a pain if they asked me who, why I was out this late. Walking around. I got through an alley to avoid them. That's more suspicious. Shut up. I bet. I walk a bit faster. Clank. I turn around at the noise. Rough metallic noises. What is that? I take out my flashlight. The manhole cover is moving. Gil sticks his head out of the bag. It's nothing, the manhole just... 
Put your foot on top of the manhole cover. <laughs> what do you mean? I remember horror movies. It's a very typical situation. If I look into the manhole, it'll suddenly fly up and a monster will come out. Yeah. The side character dies. Thank God I'm the embassy. And chill goes down my spine. Wait. I have a superpower on my side. Is there one down there? Seaweed uh, beams. No, my aurora beams. Blade. I remember the image I had in my head. The last time I made one. My arm starts to edge. And flash between, in the flesh between my skin and bones, my capillaries begin to writhe. Something hot rushes through my right arm. This is it. To put it simply, it's kind of like when you use your arms as a pillow and they go all numb and tingly. Imagine that sensation was stronger and somehow faster. There we go. The aurora starts to form a blade. So tiny. Not as big as last time, only it's the size of a fruit knife. Can't get it up when it matters. <laughs> My power? I only realized it the other day myself. I hold it up and approach the manhole. Whoa. It scares me as I step back. It's not really. I'm still not that different from before. I approach it again. It's not a human, right? I prepare to attack anything that might pop out. It'll just be Shizuru. Clang. The cover moves. It pushes the cover further, farther to one side. Then, a giant worm crawls out. I saw a dead one of those in the forest. The worm shakes its body, twisting around as it gets a feel for the area. Never mind. It's disgust disgusting, to say the least. I know, but as I hesitate, the worm crawls the rest of the way out. It's long. It's definitely longer than the remains I saw before. Yeah. By the time he says that, it's too late. The worm curl coils up its body like a spring and leaps toward me. You idiot. I stick out my right hand instinctively. A gross sound. My aurora penetrates the worm, making a sticky, sick, uh, sticky fluid noise. It feels disgusting. Whoa. I swing my right hand, my hand around, cutting right through it. The worm's head is split in half. That was horrible. Ah. It smells of blood. A red fluid, uh, blood pours out of the worm. Why? Well, it's killed someone. Easy peasy. That much? That would have been bad. Well, not enough to like all of your blood just pours out of your body. Wow. I didn't know that. Is that dangerous? It was that dangerous. I touched one of those things in the forest. It finally makes sense. That's why the cut I got back then didn't stop bleeding. These things are inside the city now? Ah. There's a rumor about mummified corpses in my neighborhood. Hey, we finally got an answer to that one. Those mysterious deaths that were caused by these guys. If so, why are there fucking worms crawling everywhere? If I'd killed it back in the forest, no one would have died. Also, assuming it, there's just that one. Yeah. Ah, uh, why didn't I? I can't hold back the regret. Hmm. Wait, if you could tell what kind of... Whatever. I see a shadow moving at the other end of the hall alley. That's one of the black dogs I've seen before. 
But if I just let him be, someone else will die. Actually, I've seen these dogs in this city before. Actually, it felt kind of like a cheap replica of the city. What? You guys know a lot. Time to chase after it. I start running. Because, you know, save the day. If I don't kill it now, then someone else might possibly die. No, it's fine, because it's better if I die trying to kill it than, uh... Someone else dying, anyways. No, I can do this. I hold out my right on hand. Aurora swells up for me a new wrist blade. I can do this. I'll chase it at full speed. No shit. I stopped near a park. Damn. Look, Katori's not that important, okay? <laughs> we could sidetrack on literally the most minor of things. But I can't just let it run off and kill someone. Katori could be dying right now. But you know what? It's different. Because someone random dying to a dog is uh, worse than, like, Katori dying in the forest somewhere. True. The fact that he's right it couldn't be more infuri infuriating. But she should be around here somewhere. Wonder if Gen and the others are okay. If something like that shows up while they're all drinking and partying. It, I'd better go check. Oh my god. Their guardian. If he hasn't set up shop here, then there's nothing to worry about. You guys stay hidden for a while. Uh, for a while, it'd be bad if anyone saw you. Sounds good. They both disappear into the trees. Now I need to get moving. Just a reminder: Katori doesn't really matter that much. There he is. I see some red paper lanterns. I rush over and see Gen busily doing something. Huh? Good evening. どうしたよ。今度来る時はお嬢と一緒っつったろ? I don't want to go anywhere with her, okay? Calm down, old man. You might be into little children. I'm not, dude. I'll definitely remember that, but more importantly, have you seen any dog around here? What? Like, I only assume this dude is part of Guardian. No, I mean huge black dog about this size. Yeah. Okay. Huh? I turn around. Red eyes between the trees. It walks out onto the path, keeping its eyes on me. Crap. It's definitely after me. Hey, and guess what? Now you have to use your power in front of someone. Congratulations, you absolute fucking moron. Yeah, good for me. I didn't want to find it. Uh, the stand sh shakes violently. Another dog just charged into it. Again, run! Huh? No, these guys are seriously dangerous. As I say that, it's approaching me. If I take my eyes off it, it can leap on me in immediately. So? You. I face it and rush forward. The dog leaps toward me at the same moment. Come on, I'll make a new Aurora Blade. Okay, I'm getting used to this thing now. I can bring it out whenever I want. But it takes time to form a hard blade. So for now, I wrap it around my fist. Sit down. 
I punch the dog at the side of the face. Yes. The black dog flies back two or three meters and rides around on the ground. I need to go help him. Gen beats up the other one. No, it's not. Run now. The dog gets back up. You can't beat these things just by punching them. They're not normal. The dog I just hit also gets back up and heads for me again. Damn. Again, I mean it. You need to start running. Yes, outrun a dog. I shout without looking at him. I can't afford to take my eyes off the one coming at me. What do I do? Just sitting it won't help. Before I can bite him into my arm, I need a blade. My aurora quivers. The moment my three blades take shape, the dog's face is already right in front of me. I swing my arm. The aurora slices through the dog's face, cutting it cleanly into three parts. Yes. Okay, it's getting still. <laughs> Told you to run, damn it. The dog seems unfazed by attacks and continues attacking again. Maybe he's not part of Guardian. He's actually stupid. Not good. I reach out. My Aurora rushes forward and produces a bright flash. As it slices the dog's head off. I told you to run! I try to catch my breath. My vision goes black and I feel dizzy. Evidently, I can't use it like that too much. Okay, huh? okay yeah. What the fuck were you wasting? Oh, I hate that. Okay, whatever. Wait, what are you? Gen opens a drawer in his stand and pulls out a pair of hatchets. I suddenly realize I'm surrounded by more dogs. Five, no, ten? Why are there so many here? Okay. I don't know if this, what this guy's deal is. I'm actually getting confused now.